Welcome to Implement Seesaw in your classroom. Let's set up routines and get students started on Seesaw. When technology is integrated effectively into classroom instruction, it does not simply replace hands-on learning. Rather, it makes new learning experiences possible. In this training, you will set up routines that reflect best practices for integrating technology and get students started on Seesaw in the classroom and at home. First, teach students how to use Seesaw. Our Getting Started activities teach students how to sign in, respond to activities, and use essential tools like the camera, microphone, and drawing tools in reading, writing, math, and more. Follow the implementation steps in the teacher notes for each activity, including links to resources. Resources include step-by-step -step getting started guides, an introductory video, videos for how to sign in, and handouts. For step-by-step -step support and additional resources, check out the Student Challenges section of our Getting Started Guides. Organized by grade band, these guides walk you through all steps to get started, including rolling out Seesaw to students. Access the Getting Started Guides and other resources at web.seesaw.me forward slash resources for teachers. Pause the video now. Use the Getting Started Activities or Getting Started Guides to roll out Seesaw to students. Now, plan regular opportunities for students to use Seesaw with classroom routines. Classrooms that create Seesaw routines ensure students always have access to meaningful learning experiences. Today, we'll focus on three teacher-tested ways to integrate Seesaw into your classroom routines. When you use Seesaw for centers or stations, you get a glimpse into every student's learning process, even when you aren't able to meet with them directly. Students are also held accountable, so they're more motivated to put forth their best effort. Start by giving a mini lesson to teach a concept or skill, and as you plan centers for students to rotate through, designate one or more to a Seesaw Center. Make sure devices have access to the Seesaw Class app or app.seesaw.me. Then, assign Seesaw activities for students to complete at the Seesaw Center. Activities that work best for centers prompt students to capture hands-on learning, like math manipulative work, that otherwise gets lost when students finish the station. Activities can also prompt students to capture their thinking. Students use the video or microphone tool to record their voice, giving you valuable insight into every student's learning. Check out these ready-to-assign activities to get started. Get the links in the video description. Seesaw can also be used to provide opportunities for students to practice grade level skills on their own. After you teach a new concept or skill, give students time to practice. Assign a Seesaw activity that reinforces the skill. As students complete the activity, circulate to support students one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. Activities that work best for independent practice include multimodal resources that increase access to the content. For example, you might use the video tool to record a demo or tutorial video. Resize the video to make room on the canvas by dragging the corners. Then add images, labels, shapes, and more to support the students to practice the skill. Students can now watch this video and complete the Seesaw activity to independently practice a skill. Seesaw Plus and Seesaw for Schools users can create multi-page activities which means up to 20 pages of dynamic, interactive practice on Seesaw. Check out these ready-to-assign activities to get started. Get the links in the video description. Seesaw makes it easy to integrate social-emotional learning, leverage transitions like the beginning or end of the day, before or after lunch, or between subjects to reinforce important SEL skills. Simply assign a Seesaw activity for students to complete during your designated SEL time. An easy way to start is with a daily or weekly check-in. Students practice identifying and naming their emotions and explaining why they feel that way. So you can follow up with students who may need extra support. You can also find or create activities that reinforce specific SEL skills like goal setting, growth mindset, and more. Check out these ready to assign activities to get started. Get the links in the video description. Remember, once you find or create activities for centers, independent practice, or SEL, click Assign. Students access activities in the To Do section of their Activities tab. Adding Seesaw into these routines allows students to better extend, share, and reflect on their learning over time. Pause the video now to plan a Seesaw routine for your classroom. 
You can also use Seesaw to reinforce learning at home. To complete Seesaw activities at home, students need to sign into the class app. We recommend students use the home learning code to sign in at home, no matter how they sign into school, because they're unique to each student and they protect privacy by preventing students from seeing each other's work while they're at home. Here's how you get to home learning codes. On a computer, click class settings. That's the wrench icon. Under the student section, click home learning student codes. Then print PDFs or download a CSV of codes. Make sure each student has their unique home learning code. Students open the class app or go to app.seesaw.me on a web browser. They click I'm a student and scan or enter their code. We recommend students hang their code someplace handy, like the refrigerator or wherever they complete homework. First, support students to sign in at home. Then find or create an activity and we recommend putting home learning in the activity title and then assign the activity for students to complete at home. Activities that work best for home learning include multimodal supports that ensure students can access the content independently, such as a demo video or links to resources. Great home learning activities also include family and community members. Prompt students to complete learning tasks with the people around them. Finally, leverage the home environment. Think, how can I connect learning to students' daily lives? What resources do all students have at home? Pause the video now, find the home learning codes, and also some activities that you could assign at home. You did it! You learned how to get students started on Seesaw, create Seesaw routines, and support learning at home. Thanks for learning with us today. You can find more free training at web.seesaw.me forward slash training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.